Good afternoon YouTube, this is Warbles on a lot at the uh, 20 to 5 in the afternoon, daylight saving time on a rainy day I've been sitting in bed all day it took 8 and 3 quarter hours to answer the inboxes today and it's raining so what's the point in getting up you get up you pretty much got to run the pot belly however yesterday it was cloudy in the morning and it rained in the afternoon so not much has gone into the electric pyramid therefore I'm going to have to start its onboard engine that means first thing I got to do is have a bit of a look at the logbook and uh, 22nd of December 2011 ran for two, 2 hours 52 minutes that brings us to 3836 hours 32 minutes that the two stroke engines run in that pyramid and on the 28th of December I put 2550 mils of two stroke mix in there so in theory it should start right up And also in theory, we're not going to get any rain on the lens, but that's an interesting theory, isn't it? Right, so we've propped that up, reading 11.7 volts, no current going in. 3.1 amp hours today and this thing reads 19% under so it's actually about three and a half amp hours in 12.5 amp hours went in yesterday so it's about 15 16 19.2 the day before that day before that it was 31 maybe 34 amp hours which is closer to 40 corrected for the error of that gauge well, we're now showing 11.8 bit of a light spot in the clouds we're using just over one amp to run the inverter which is what's making the funny noises see we're full of fuel well not full but got enough in there turn the fuel tap on put the choke on turn the ignition on <coughs> uh, better off staying up there Let's hope this starts up. It doesn't want to by the sound of that. There we go. Hunting a bit. Okay. That's what happens when you don't run for three or four weeks. So we leave that. We'll just quietly warm up. It's uh, 16 44 hours. So we write down the start time. Better view of that. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my start time. I'll write the stop down in that time in there later. And down here, I've got uh, space to write how long the engine's going to run, and then I can write the total time underneath the total time brought forward. And today, we're looking at being the 15th. So while I'm in here doing that I 
The generator's engine is warming up. Everything's getting ready to produce some electricity. And right at the moment, there's a fair bit of oil smoke visible coming out. That's the lock, by the way. As you can see, we've got wire hinges drilled through. All four doors on the pyramid open up. There you can see the uh, 18 amp solar power regulator re tasked with purely regulating the output from the DC end of the generator. So now we've got 8 amps going in from the generator. The solar panels are still trying. 12.4 volts, we were reading 11.7 and the inverter is still running, so turn the inverter off plug the hat in to the power board not showing any surge protection there we go, we've now got surge protection on the power board, 12.8 volts, 12.9 volts, still got 7.5 amps going in. And just to show that it does in fact happen, now 2007 these two batteries, X Parks and Wildlife Gel Techs. They've done two years in Parks and Wildlife before I got them. And they're onto their fifth year in my application. Same with these ones, 2010, 2010, 2010. And that other one over there is. 2011. So all the batteries come from the dump. All the batteries have got their mag uh, lead plates lined up with Magnetic North lined up with the Keops pyramid that they're stored in. I can open any two of the sides at once. There's one arrangement where I can get three sides open at once but it kind of strains things. So There we have the electric pyramid. And that's probably going to run for, it's got enough fuel in it to run for six or eight hours. So uh, that can put 50 amp hours back into the battery between now and midnight. While I'm in the hut, staying warm. And don't worry about the clock on the wall, it needs a new battery. Okay, that's the electric pyramid tuition.